And we continue now. The 1D4 rating climb. Playing against folks who are 1200 plus today. Three minute, five second bonus as always. And all these people will get their rating points refunded. Shout out to my Twitch subs. Live streaming this right now. Here we go. Playing against Letter Pico first, Peter Leko. Uh, we've got a nice queue today. I'm going to play a handful of Queen's Gambits, London's. But first, we're going to get going with a Black Mardemer Gambit. Now it's a Karo Khan. Okay, well, that's kind of funny. E4, C6, D4, D5. Uh, well, Black Mardemer didn't work. So now I'll play the, uh, play the advanced Karo Khan. Okay. Sounds good. Do um, knight c3 and g4. It's called the Shira variation. Normally I play h4, but I want to give him a game, and h4 sometimes is a little bit too much. Yeah, e6 is pretty normal. Let's go g4. This is the whole point. Knight e2. Point here is to go here. Okay. Um, h6 is interesting. I guess I'm gonna go h4. This is sort of the point. And now h5, f4, and so on, and so on, and so on. Maybe here? Never seen this move. Let's go all the pawns forward. Let's be, let's be as aggressive as possible. c5, now don't take. Keep on developing. Get all the pieces out and about. The whole point of this structure for black is that it's very solido, but uh, it is very passive. It's not yet fire on the board, but we're getting there. So this is sort of the issue that I have with the Black Mardemer Gambit. Uh, it's the fact that they can play C6 or E6, and now you're just in a totally different opening. Not necessarily a bad thing, just you got to know what you're doing in those openings. You can't just study the accepted Black Mardemer. Uh, does F5 just like win? Th this is the difficult thing about not having space and the opponent having a bunch of pawns ready to attack you, is that yes, you can just develop your pieces, but if you're in a position where you can advance without weakening your position, like takes, takes, and then I just do this and it's over. So, guys, again, all these comments about who has more viewers, Let's not forget that we have embed on chess.com, which does boost it by quite a lot. So you'll notice that Hikaru gets two to three thousand more. Everybody gets a big viewer boost. It's not a, it's not a an, an organic thing. Um, but you know, I'm not sitting here thinking about that stuff. So, but I but I do appreciate the support of the channel. Knight c7 wins a rook. Knight takes d5 might win even more than that. If queen f, we might get this, 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 and this, and that would be kind of nice. That would be the end of it. The whole point is that if this, I have this. So my opponent against the advanced Karakhan struggling. But yeah, live audience gets a uh, you know, unfiltered, unedited version of the of the presenter. This is, uh, there, there's not much more to say here, unfortunately. That's mate. That's just mate. Uh, rough game. Um, if you want to fight the advanced, uh, the, the Karakhan, you have to be a little bit more aggressive. Like, in this position, you need to fight for the center a little bit faster. I think h6 is a good line, but if you play aggressively with white, bad things are going to happen. Right? So, I think actually, I don't even know if, I mean, h6 could already be a mistake. I think this is such a dangerous variation. Black needs to fight with c5, knight c6 immediately. Um, because h4 is just so quick on this side of the board. It can, it can get very dangerous, very unpleasant. Right, so 
can be very, very uh, dangerous system here. All right. Letter Pico. GG. We're up against Dutch next. I mean, I'm, I'm primarily going to play the London. I, I want you guys... Okay, let's play this. I do you remember all openings? I remember only like four to five. Well, as an international master, the answer to that question is basically yes. Uh, I do know a little bit about every opening. I don't necessarily know the theory. This is a really interesting move. So this is called the Rogozin defense of the Queen's Gambit declined. Bishop e7 is the standard. This is Rogozin. Now my favorite line here is Queen to a4. Good. He protects. Um, I don't remember if I play bishop d2 or e3 here, but let's play bishop d2. So that if he goes here, okay, I just take. Now I have two bishops. He just gave me the bishop. Let's play e3. This game's going to be a little bit more positional. Okay, he's lining this up. I'm going to drop my queen back to c2. Otherwise, there would have been a tactic on my queen. What is gg? Uh, Giga Gamer is what that means. Queen e7. Now I'd like to play bishop d3, but then he's going to put his knight on b4. So a useful move here is the move a3. Just stop knight b4. I called every game GG, correct. Because I'm calling my opponents Giga Gamers. Giga is like the, the you know, it's for, word for big. Now I'll play bishop d3, and then I'm going to castle, and life is good. Now to activate my... Okay. He takes, I'll take. Not a big deal. I like that trade. His pieces are a little bit more passive. Okay. Uh, this is the thing about the Queen's Gambit is that the middle game is a little bit harder to conceptualize. Like it's, it's a lot harder for me to put a stamp on something that you're supposed to do in every single position. Right? Um... Whereas in the London, that is much more possible. So rook b8 looks like he wants b5. If I castle, he goes b5, I back up. He goes forward, I back up. Doesn't look like he's trapping my pieces. What do I think about the idea that you can make an illegal move, but your opponent can report it? No, 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 no. I think that illegal moves should just not, you shouldn't be allowed to play illegal moves. However, I firmly believe that you should be able to hang your king. If you miss that you're in check or make a move that hangs a king, I think someone should be allowed to take your king. Now, by the way, I could have taken this, but again, I don't want him to come with the knight. I don't want, okay, so he goes here. Um, I mean, I guess I just move the queen out of the way, but then there's this. What if I just move the queen here and here? And then I'm going to use the open file. That's what I'm going to do. Tough position, though. Tough. I mean, it's, it's difficult to come up with a... I think moves should be illegal. Like, you shouldn't be... You, you can't make a move like this. But if you hang your king, the game is over. That's personally what I think. So we might not like it, but... Okay. That's free. But then you can take and play, like, bishop b5? What is going on? Let me take this and put my bishop on c3. Uh, now the best move here is queen d5, setting up bishop c6 with this idea. I mean, he has a... That definitely was not the best move. Um, I mean, I'm happy to see that, but that... I did not realize that I was playing Alexandra Botez. I didn't know that she lived in uh, South Africa, yeah. Okay. Wow. What's up, Black Pepper? How you doing? Queen takes f6. Yeah, he was doing well, but that's kind of how it goes when you're 1200 sometimes. Um, you, you, you're doing well until you're not. All right, let's go bring this rookie. Uh, and then we have to play like f4, f5. We definitely need to shut down the bishop with a pawn. Dalman says, thanks for helping me climb to 1300 after discovering chess in June. You're very welcome. Very welcome. Oh, shout out to Aaron. Aaron just hosted. You can't see it, but I can see it on my dashboard. Shout out to uh, the graphics mastermind of chess.com.
Okay, that is a move, but we have rook f3, and now we're threatening to take here and checkmate. That is just mate. I mean, it's the, the lesson here is it's difficult to play without a queen, unfortunately. That was uh, here, 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 here. No mate, unfortunately. Just going to play this anyway. I'm so kind, I'm always kind. I'm sarcastic, but that doesn't mean I'm not kind. Some people just are 1300 after... Well, first of all, some people are 1300 after six months of playing the game because they play on Lee Chess. That's not that hard. You make an account, you lose 200 points. It's really not the hardest thing in the world. But some people are genuinely 1300. Uh, and, like, ability. doesn't matter what website you play on. Um, and those people just see spatial patterns better than other people, and they can pick up on certain concepts faster than the average uh, chess student. Now I go check. I can sacrifice my queen for two rooks. That's also winning, but I think this leads to mate, because after king d7, oh, he's going to try to get away this way. No, I think it's force mate. So check. Okay. So here, 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 here. Here, but then he has king b7. Let's do this, is this, is this. Let's do that. Look, no hands. Now he could totally trick me here if he's stream sniping. You know, he can play like rook g5. Okay, he didn't do it. And uh, yeah, we did it. Nice. What I'm saying is he could have, if he was stream sniping in this position, he could have, uh, he could have played this because I was playing here. So he could have sniped this move and then taken it. And uh, I'm probably still winning here. Although, I don't know, this is very strong and I'm not attacking his king anymore. But luckily he wasn't. That was pretty cool. Uh, can you get a title if you start playing late at life? Yes, but I wouldn't make your entire chess career about that goal. You know what I mean? Like, play the game because you love it and you want to get better. Uh, D4. D5, again. Okay, I, again, I want to play London, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play three queen's gambits to start here, just to give you guys a little, little, little taste. Knight C3. This is the guy that beat the 1900. He has me as a... Okay, this guy goes like this. Let's go for a Catalan setup with, with g3 and bishop g2. Very solid setup. Very positional. The pun behind the username? Uh, it's a movie. Le Vie and Rose. I also think it's a, it's a song. Castles? Thought it was a, I thought it was a French movie, too. Am I wrong? I might just be wrong. Guys, I have to tell you something funny. That's actually a very good move. Very, very good move. So I don't want to take because it helps the structure. So a good move here is something like e4 or knight e5. Trying to win my pawn back with the knight and keep the bishop open. e4... Um, he will take, and I will take back. And, I, and I'm going to be down a pawn. That's actually pretty normal for these positions. I'm going to be down a pawn, but I have a very, very solid center. And depending on how he sets up, the next wave of the middle game will be uh, pretty, pretty comfortable for me. Did you play well? You did play well. You actually played great. Until you hung the queen, you played excellent last game. You played very well. Very, very well. But then you hung a queen. Right, so here's one idea, just the open file for the rook. That trade allows me to play rook b1 and just improve the position of my rook on the open line. He plays b5. It's a good move. Um, now, you can get wrapped up in the fight here for this side of the board, but I'm going to play knight e5 and try to take complete control of the center. f4, bishop e3, maybe start an attack with f5, maybe even bring my queen out this way. 
uh, because my opponent is very passive. He has one a pawn, but in doing so, he doesn't have a single non-pawn past the second rank. All his pieces are on the second and first rank. Uh, and when your opponent has a lot more space, that pawn isn't the, the effect of it isn't felt. Okay, I'm happy to do this because now I'm the only guy with a light squared bishop. So e5 here opens up the line. f4 is also strong. And then there's this move, which has a hidden threat. This is, there's no threat here, but the board is big. The board is big, and he's going for a queen trade, which I think I don't mind, because now what happens in these Catalan positions is if you win the pawns back on the queen side, you're just winning, because that was his only advantage. Now when I go here or here, he's busted. He's just busted. Now he doesn't have any pawn advantage. And when I play e5, the bishop is going to cut the entire board. Not to mention that this pawn is a weakness, although I can't attack it. Right, so now rook b7, frying the 7th rank. I mean, black can still defend. It's not, it's not the end of the story, but it's very unpleasant. Bishop d6, f4 to try to play e5. Still, my rook can get trapped. I can still do something stupid. Mm -hmm. So there's this, 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 hitting the knight, and then that's hanging. That should be winning. This should be winning. So the point is, if he takes me, and I take back, his rook is hanging, his bishop is hanging, if he moves his rook to attack my bishop, I will move my bishop, attacking his knight. And even if I didn't have all those tactics, this is still a very dominant position for white. This bishop will have to move. I will take the pawn. The rook will be hit. The knight will be hit. What's going on here? Let's see through the chaos. First things first, I can just take the bishop. That's just the simplest. Just by far the simplest thing to do. Just take the bishop. He wanted me to take, so he'd move his bishop out of the way. But just take the bishop. I will be playing in the event, guys. Yes, we have a command, YouTube, wherever you're watching. In two hours, we have the Super Swiss on chess.com. 15 round 3-0 event. I'm, I'm taking with the bishop because if I take with the king, he can move and check me. So I'm just going like this. He can't take my pawn because his knight is going to be under attack. And I have this too. So I'll be playing. Yeah, it's 3-0. Um, we'll see how it goes. I feel like 3-0 benefits me, if anything, because normally in Title Tuesday... The bonus time is really frustrating. You can't flag people. So I'm just going to play fast and, you know, hopefully we can beat a GM or something. It's very different playing a tournament versus playing straight up blitz somehow. I don't know. It feels very different. Uh... My primarily D4, E4. My, my tournament repertoire is E4, uh, D4. So in tournaments, I'm, I'm mostly playing uh, d4. Let's go here. Take. Take. Bishop a6. Make a knight. He's going to take it anyway. Or maybe he won't. He was going to take whatever I promoted to, so... I have different repertoires. I mean, I am. <laughs> I have to have different... Ra I can't just play... Okay, c4. Uh, if you're just starting out, you don't need to have multiple, you know... You don't need to have multiple weapons. I mean, you're talking about titled players. Okay, let's push. Let's push. Let's push. He's trying to sneak in. He's not going to make it, but he's trying. Take. Check. Check. Oh, he went that way. Check. H5. H5, queen, f6, mate. I knew it. Good game. That was a good game. Um, 
He played very solidly, but the Catalan is just extremely annoying to deal with at this level. Uh, it, is, it, it, it is a really annoying opening. It, it's just, it, it's, I, I don't know what to say. Like, the Catalan is such a frustrating opening to deal with if you play uh, the Black Pieces. I mean, good weapons against it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, if you run into a Catalan opponent, you just have to mix it up, probably. Uh, so, that's, that's how it works. What's annoying about it? Positional pressure, gambiting a pawn, all the pieces are on solid squares, absolutely zero weaknesses. Uh, you know, standard game plan, like very easy game plan. Highly recommend the Catalan, if you're a solid player. Tough to create an attack out of the Catalan, but... Alright, from here on out, it's gonna be Londons. Londons, Londons, Londons. Here we go, Bishop F4. And we're gonna play this E3. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm happy this is happening. This is gonna teach a lot of people. The whole point of this is that if E3, E5, this is the Eric Rosen London trap. Against H5, you have to go Knight F3. E3, there is this, and your bishop gets trapped, no matter what you take with. Okay, now he's playing like this, so I'm going to play standard. Be very careful, because we're going we're gonna to punish this guy for playing the move H5. But, th but this is a real thing. Eric Rosen did make a YouTube video about this. Okay, against bishop F5, I really like C4. I really like the C4 idea, because the whole point is to put pressure on the center, right? Now we're going to play queen uh, B3, which hits the B7 pawn. And since we have a lead in development here... Ooh, I had, I had something better, actually. I had something better. I had something a little bit more instructive. Yeah, I'm going to show it now. Now C takes D5, and this is just winning. So, yeah, we're punishing his silly stuff in the opening. Uh, bishop takes B8. Should win. Or just Bishop B5, maybe. Which one is better? Bishop B8, because he can't move his knight now. So Bishop B8, Rook B8, Bishop B5. Now let's play Bishop to B5. My opponent says, please don't obliterate me, I'm a fan. No, for playing h5, you deserve to be obliterated. I mean, this is like, you know, Yugi Kaiba. Right before they, they, they duel Pegasus. I mean, he, deser he deserves to be exodiated, for sure. Oh wait, no, Kaiba won that one. The one before Pegasus, Kaiba won. Because Yugi couldn't... Yugi, like, was gonna win, but then he, he called off... Right? He called off Celtic Guardian's attacks. Right? I think. I think. Yeah, Ka yeah, yeah, yeah. Ka yeah, yeah, that was a fake Kaiba win. Stupid Kaiba. Anyway, my bad. Okay, so he comes back. Um, the best thing to do here is to take and then probably play like knight e5. Yeah. If knight takes, then we go here. If king takes, we, I don't know, we slap him. Now we go knight here. So the queen is hit, and my, I'm going to come in with queen to b5 or queen takes d5 next. I mean, so h5 is bad because, uh, okay, wait one second. I have a question from a gremlin. Gremlin's asking, what's so bad about h5? Well, the thing is, it's bad because I never played the king's Indian. Like with black, you can't play like this. It's a little bit different. Depending on who goes first in the game, uh, is he really? defending himself hold on hold on a second this is crazy there's no way he's actually defending himself in this position is there take wow i am that's wild really yeah it's really the fact that there is nothing that you know the difference is that if if you play like this you know with h4 like, or are you talking about the Karakhan variation? E4, C6, D4, D5, like this? Well, the point is your pawn made it all the way. That's the big difference. Right, so... That's the difference. Is that here... Mm, that should win for me. Also, queen c6 looks really good. Yeah, knight d7 is a big problem. 
if here, if I take, take, he's guarding. But if I take, we win a bishop. Now if he takes me, I take like this. Okay, we want a piece. Yeah, like you just, you can't weaken your diagonal in the London so much. A okay, DC5. Now we're just going to pick up some pawns in the center before we castle. Play like this. G4 is a good opening against the London. If you play G5, yeah, I mean, I, I guess they'll just take it, but... Here, here, take everybody, long castles with check, put the bishop on d4, play king b1. Whoa, he didn't take my knight. Why didn't he take my knight? Okay, but now I just take, now I have two pieces. I shouldn't have had two pieces. It wasn't pinned. It wasn't pinned in this position. Okay, check. Is he going to come out this way? Let's see how brave he is. Of course he should go to the corner, but let's see how brave he is. Okay, now I'm threatening. I think what's going to happen is here, 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 mate. Oh, that's not mate. He can take my horsey. My opponent says, I thought we had an agreement. I don't know, I don't know what he's talking about. That is a pretty good move. Uh, check here. How about this? No hands. Mating net near the king. He's just stuck. There's nothing that he can do. His king got a little bit too close. How much would a 1500 on Lee Chess be on chess.com? I mean, again, that's like the rating that you sign up with. So I can't really answer that question. I, I don't know. I, that could be anything. But probably 11 or 1200. I think it's like minus two or 300. Okay, so in this game, he went for this London trap, and that's, what, that's the trap. If you take, they go g5, they trap your bishop. If take, they go here, they do the exact same thing. Which is why against h5, you have to play knight to f3. It's the only way you play knight f3. Uh, and, uh, well, he just, you know, kind of got a little bit pancaked after that. Make sure not to weaken your king side. London is, is a vicious opening. I'm... Uh, I, I, I'm just saying, man. London, let's see. Are we going to get a King's Indian or, or, aha. Uh -huh. Yes, a lot of people talk about this. So against this, I would go D5. Someone just said, can't you play the old Benoni or something? Sure, but Queen B6, there is always Rook B1. And when there isn't Rook B1, there are certain gambits. Oh, I get this a lot in Blitz, especially on my level. I get this a lot at 2600 level. This is what you got to do. You got to go get that bishop. That's what you got to do. I would just go immediately there. Just go directly to h6 to deal with the bishop. Oh, no, that's not recommended. Now he traded off his dark squared bishop, and he's not going to be able to castle. Yeah, I want to play e4, but I can't. I want to play f3, but then he kind of takes this pawn. So now we go long castle. That's the whole point. And uh, f3, e4. Okay. Is he going to get his bishop trapped? This is the benefit of playing this system, is that you have more space. Oh, man. This is, look at this center. Look at this center. Look at this center. h4, h5 looks so good. He, he's not castling, actually. 
which is going to serve to his benefit. But I'm I'm still going to create an attack because that's where I'm, you know. Um, He wants to go this way. I'm going to go knight b5, which hits his queen and either forces his queen to go to the back rank or forces him to take. And I check him and I continue to delay his movement. Then I'll play the move h5. Queen g7 is also good. Uh, but queen g7, there's this. Okay. Uh, so check this out. Queen g7, it's combo mambo time. This pawn is guarding two things. Hidden in all of this is the fact that I can take, take, and take. Or take, take, and take. But it's better to go this way because then, then, right, we hold everything like this. And so we keep our queen. We've won a pawn. Generally, when you get that close to the enemy king, you will have something. There will be some tactics brewing. You will have something. Uh, and then we're going to win one more pawn, as long as there's no check. Because there could be a discovered attack with the bishop. So we're just, we're, we're up two pawns now. He can't castle short. Um, that's hanging. We have e5, e6 coming in the future because his king is in the center. And obviously a queen trade here. Like, if he plays queen e7, I'll take it. I'm telling you right now, man, you play queen e7, I will take your queen. I am happy to give you a queen trade because I am winning in the endgame. But if he does something else, then we'll figure it out. He might go like, I don't know. It's tough to make a move here for black. Very tough. F5. No. Why are we opening the king? By the way, notice E5 is good. But I went this way because I want to check him. I want to attack his king. Although, is this king safe on F7? That would be a little bit ridiculous. Okay, so maybe instead of getting a queen trade now, I know I said I would trade the queens. I know. But I don't want to trade the queens anymore. Because he has an open king. But you know what? A deal is a deal. Fine. A deal is a deal. I told him. I told him. I would, you know what? I'm a man of my word. Instead, I'm going to go g4 and just, just win the endgame. I'm a man of my word. Should have gone e5. A lot of conflicting, you know. I'm a man of my word. So I did say I would trade the queen. Okay. Let's bring the knight out this way because there's a pawn here. This king's still in the middle, so we have to bring the pieces in. Of course, if I was going to trade the queen, it was probably better for me to just play e5. But it's all good. I don't know what that does. Let's play c4. That defends this. It's protected by this. I'll put my, put my bishop. I have a protected pass pawn now, which is pretty good. And, uh, yeah... Knight g5. Knight g5. Knight g5. Knight g5. Knight g5. Oh no, my pawn. But we're threatening knight to d6. Knight to d6 is a pretty OP move. Okay, he doesn't want me to play knight d6 for some reason. Probably has to do with the fact that he will lose the game if that happens. So instead we do it like this. He's offering a trade of pawns. I guess I'll take. I don't really see any problem not. Go here. Check. But that's protected. So let's play rook g1. I need to activate my pieces a little bit. He's down two pawns, but he's putting up a fight. He's down two pieces, but he's putting up a fight. Bishop d3. There's some seriously evil stuff about to unfold here. I predict here, 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 here. That's what I predict. What do you guys think? None of that is going to happen now. I'm a little bit sad. King d2 to protect my bishop. Probably not the best move, but I want to move my knight to g5. I could have just done it, actually. 
I'm silly. I could have gone here, and if he took, I had 96. But we're being Salido. Let's be Salido. I don't want you guys to blunder. Who drew this painting? You don't draw paintings, you paint paintings. Also, I painted it. So when, I, when I'm not streaming uh, or pole dancing, uh, I like to paint as well. Check. Yay, I win the rook. Slow conversion. Slow, slow, slow conversion, but we got there. Please go here so I can fork you. Please? He goes 98. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Transform the game into a winning endgame. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. A lot of booms. Boom. I did throw my rook, yes, because the pawn endgame is winning. Here? Hmm. Push with the king. The thing is, if I push the pawn, he just stops. Resignation. Okay. Don't be worried about old Benoni. Um, just do this. It's the easiest thing. Now, he could play c5 at different points. He could play it very early. He could have played it very early. Uh, or... He played it a little bit later, and we got the same kind of attack and position. I'm satisfied. Let's keep it going. Played one Catalan, some London's coming up. Uh, I will probably play two or three more people today for YouTube, which we'll, we'll probably finish. And then at 3 o'clock, in one hour and 40 minutes, we have this tournament coming up. E3? Ah! Now, C3 is actually probably what I recommend. Okay, let's go C3. Knight D2. Bishop D3. This is going to be a much... Man, I was just about to say that this is going to be a normal game. What, what is this move? What is that? Okay, Bishop, I think I know what's gonna happen. He's baiting this and he's gonna play b5. That's what I think. What is this? What is this? What? Okay, 95. This is the normal London move. A5 is most certainly not completely normal. Please don't tell people it's completely normal. Where's your knight going? Back to g8? This is not normal. This isn't good. Taking isn't good. I guess this guy has like his own thing that he plays against the London. Some people do that. They're like, I don't want to play... Okay, yeah, but I just win a pawn now. How is this normal? This isn't good. Black's just down a pawn! That's not what we want. No! Okay. Let's show you how to win an endgame. Bishop c6. Terrible structure. I'm gonna castle because I don't I don't actually like if he takes my queen, I get the file. Right. So now we're gonna go here, he's gonna go here, I'm gonna go here, he's gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. But also I just wanna hit this pawn. Okay, he just gives me the pawn. That's completely fine as well. I will happily be up two pawns on move 15. More than happy. More than happy. So... Hmm. 
B3, so he can't take me. 1300 is a level at which you should you should have something that you play against the London because the London is so prevalent. I think at this point the London is played more than most openings in Queen's Pawn. Rook B6 is a good move, can't take, so I'm just going to back up to the middle. Can also go to Queen F3. Rook D1 in here. That's a move. That's hanging. Maybe just queen c4. The best counter for London? My opponent says my heart is racing right now. Don't worry. It shouldn't race. You're good, man. It's all good. There's something on my screen. He has better positioning? Uh, positioning maybe is like the right term for it, but he's not attacking anything. So, oh wait, and now I just realized I have this. Uh-oh. That move opened the door for my bishop, and there's this move. No, but trust me, I understand, like, you, playing your playing a streamer, like, when I play Hikaru, I, I get jittery, man. Like, I... When I play these tournaments on chess.com, I'm not so jittery. Uh, I don't actually have to take either rook, but I'm going to take this one so this rook comes off the central file. And then I'm going to take this. Let's take this too. We always have a back rank check, so I'm not worried about bishop c3 because I can give him a check. And he's not actually winning my rook. Can I go here, 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 take, and then g3? Probably... That's a back rank made under normal circumstances, but because I have this and then I can block with the pawn. Very important to visualize that, by the way. That on king h2, bishop e5 is not mate. Whoa! X-ray defense! If I take his queen, he takes mine, but I can take this way because I have what's called X-ray defense, which is when you defend your own piece through the enemy piece. So it's important to visualize that in this position, this is not mate, which for beginners does look like mate because they, they want to move their king when they're in check and you don't have to do that. You can block with the pawn and you're completely fine. But yeah, don't go a5. Uh, I mean, if you don't have anything against the London, just play normal moves. Bishop d6, b6, bishop b7, just develop your pieces. You're going to be fine, because what happened in the game is I just did what you're supposed to do in the London, and you lost a pawn, and then you lost a second pawn, and, you know, I didn't do anything insane. I, I didn't do anything that any, any you know, normal 13, 1400 can't do. Uh, and that's, the game kind of got out of hand very early, and it doesn't have to. Bishop f4. Hey, we have a very similar, we've already had this today. Bishop e7. Huh. Okay, that's very committal. Since he already castled this way, I'm going to set up, but I'm not going to castle. I'm not going to castle. I'm gonna go knight to e5. Yep, you guys already got it. Greek gift. Center locked, so my king is pretty happy here. Can play queen f3, queen h5. Launch my g and h pawns and do some serious damage right there.
Also drank all this coffee, so I have to, uh... I have to pee. That's a good move. Now, if I play... Queen f3, queen h3, he's gonna take, huh? So what about knight g4? Or queen g3? Well, well! Thank you for the sub. Knight h5, queen h3. This is guarding this. Good, good setup by him. Whoa. Well, that's illegal anyway. I mean, I can pre-move this, but it's, it's not gonna happen. So, the point is that if take, take. You need to overprotect this. Again, you guys see I'm not taking. Unless I'm winning material, that knight stays glued in the center to put pressure on black, not let him comfortably develop. Um, this. We have this coming, potentially. He plays that. That's really solid, but it's... It's, um, it's a little suspicious. I uh, might go g4. Wow. Can I just go here? Let's let's bring another piece to the party. This is the only piece not involved in the attack. So we have this, 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 this. Okay, take. We're going to take with a pawn. We're actually very happy to do that. In this position, doubled pawns don't matter because we're gluing in the horse. That's a good move for him, but he's not going to play that. Take, take. Oh, no. All right, he is, he is slowly trading away all the important... Defenders of his king. Hmm. That. This is the best move. Now, now after g4, white is completely winning. Completely winning. Um, whoa. But be careful. Don't allow counterplay for no reason. But if you do accidentally allow counterplay for no reason... Make sure you have clutch moves that guard everything. Okay. Alimentative Cerebral. Just donated $40 for the course. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. All right. So even if you do allow counterplay, there are moves that hold everything. As ridiculous as they look, that move actually does defend my position. So... Of course, the best move after queen b6 was either rook b1 or even castling long, so my king guards. But if you do allow counterplay, just make sure... Yeah, of course, doing something crazy like this is his best chance. Now, uh, if I take, take, and then play something like... I think I'm safe. Of course, it looks a little bit scary, but I, but I, do, I do think I'm safe. Whoa, that's an interesting move. I was gonna go here, but it... It is a little scary. <laughs> My king is... Whoo! Um, yeah, okay. So we gotta, we gotta make sure we don't... Uh, so how do we deal with this? Hey, we're not gonna stop it, and if we play b5, he just takes. Like, for example, if you play rook b1, bishop a6, you probably just, like, lose, actually. Well, you don't lose. Your king does some crazy stuff, but I think a4 is the, is the move here. So that on bishop a6, we have b5. No, 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 I'm never growing out a full beard. Knight e1. No, actually... Maybe. No, because you hang your rook. No, 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 no. Your rook is guarding your rook. Queen takes b4 from my opponent. But now... Oh, wait. <laughs> in my attempt to stir up some, some stuff in, the, in this game, I just made this infinitely more challenging for myself. But I think I'm safe. My king is safe on e3. Bishop a6, king e3, queen c4 to come here. I just play rook e1. We're, we're doing our best. How long have I been painting? Ah, uh, like... I don't know, man. Like six or seven minutes, probably. Guys, no, no, no. Rook AB1 is not good, because he's going to move this anyway. We need to focus on the king. That's where we have our attack. Square Mountain, thank you for the prime. What's my favorite medium? Uh, large. 
king to e3. So our king, again, I'm, I'm doing this more for instructional value. Uh, it's a little bit dangerous, but, you know, it is what it is. So he's not mating me, ever. Um, and if he goes here, I'm going to take, and then all of a sudden, I'm the guy who's threatening mate. A lot of you see this, but that's going to take too long. If he plays queen a2, this is more forcing, because of this, that's mate. So queen a2, it's far more forcing for me to take the pawn. Yeah, he, he's playing quite well. I, I'm, you know, I'm defending, but of course, I didn't have to allow any of this. Let's not forget. But, ah, now this should probably win. This is also probably winning. HG, yeah, 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 because that's mate, and that's also going to be mate. And let's not forget that that's guarded by the bishop. Check there, check there, check there, check, no. Check there, check there, check there, check there, check there, check. This is working. We just take a lot of stuff here. Check. And then I'm going to finish it with bishop f5. Bishop f5 and takes. And again, my king is safe. All the important squares near the king are covered. Play rook takes c8, and uh, it should just be over. Man, that coffee is strong. I feel like locked in. I want to play this tournament. I'm playing in an hour and a half, but... Should have saved it, actually, probably for the tournament, but it's fine. Nice. That was good. Good defense. Let's play one more for YouTube and a few more here for Twitch. D4. Chess chonker. See a cat? Chess chonker? I gotta make a move, buddy. Signs up and then doesn't play. Trainer Ducky is also not here. So I'll play Blinker Bell. Blinker Bell will be last. Then I'll play Abdul. Can I play more Catalan? Sure. I'll play a Catalan right now. Oh, you were in a game. Okay, no worries. I'll play, I'll play you next. Last person for YouTube will be Blinker Bell. C4. Another common idea in the Catalan is to play bishop g5 and rook c1, trade and reinforce on the dark square. So something like bishop f6, c takes d5. Now notice my opponent put a bishop here. And I want to be the guy staring into the pawn. So that's why I'm playing like this. I'm trading off my dark squared bishop. Right? I'm putting everything on dark squares. Uh, oh, what's the best move here for white guys? Let's see if you can find this. Queen b3. That's a good move. The best move here is knight d2. Definitely knight d2. Yes.
The point is that now two things attack on d5, and this is a threat. And I'm not sure you can actually stop them both. I don't think you can stop them both. Also, I, I guess I could have taken this pawn, but I did this. Wow. Take. What? He's giving me the rock? Why is he giving me the rock? Okay, now I'm going to go for a queen trade because he gave me a rock. So now if I trade queens, I'm very happy. I told you the Catalan is vicious. It is vicious. It is definitely. Okay, now I want the bishop. I just want to trade pieces. I'm going to offer a pawn trade too. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my, got a horsey and I got my rocks. Okay, I'm gonna take the bishop. Yo, Luke Mistek, thank you for the, uh, the, the sub, the, uh, Jolly Skydiver also shared two, uh, donated two dollars earlier, but it didn't get red because we have minimum three dollars TTS, I think. Maybe it did. He wants my rock. I don't want him to have my rock. No. No rock. Stop. Stop trying to take my rock. No rock. There we go. Stop taking my... Man, trying to take both my rocks! Fun fact, when I was a little kid, I would put rocks in my mouth. I think I told this story once. Like, I would sit on the playground and I would just put rocks in my mouth. No wonder I became an IM. You know, I feel like you, 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 you need to be like an idiot as a kid to become an IM. I, I, like, I would straight up sit... Like, in a, like, we'd be in a, in a playground, and I would just be shoving rocks in my mouth. And that's probably why, you know, my teeth are so good. And uh, This is a family-friendly stream, sir. You're an idiot now, can you become an I am? A little bit harder. You gotta be an idiot in childhood more. Um... You, don't, you ate ants as a kid? Okay, well, that's a little bit weirder than rocks, but, I mean, at least, you know, ants are creatures, so I suppose that kind of makes sense. Let's put the rock on B2, and I want him to go here. Doesn't actually win anything, but... Uh, double up my rocks, and I think that's, that's GG on the B file, and, uh, yeah, Catalan OP. I don't, I don't really know what to say. They actually are edible. They are edible. Uh, there's a Mexican restaurant in New York that, uh, that, that serves uh, ants. It's, I think it's a Mexican restaurant. Uh, of course, get sent via Dropbox. I will email it to you. I, I'll take a pause at some point and then I'll... That was a good game. Solid game. But, I mean, the Catalan is just so annoying. Like, it's so annoying. Um, just such a solid system. Like, take on d5. You know, knight d2 is like, you know, it moves like this will come to you when you play Catalan because it's so solid uh, and you play against your opponent's weaknesses. And actually, this is playing against your opponent's peace coordination. Like, the bishop on b7 has no guard. So, um... Okay, guys, uh, that, 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 that was not an open forum for you to discuss what weird stuff you did as a kid or potentially do as an adult, but I appreciate you. GG, Blinker Bell, that was, a, that was a nice one. All right, let's go, Trainer Ducky. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to sign off on YouTube. We're just basically hitting an hour. Twitch, say bye. Say bye to YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed the games today. Um, if you want more, there's going to be videos on that side. All of these climbs have playlists, so if you haven't had enough from this video, you want to look at some of the others. Um, please do go ahead and do that. We have King's Indian. We have a lot of this D4. We have E4. Uh, we'll have probably a speed run in the future, depending on when you're watching. If you're watching in 2021, Happy New Year. 2022, I mean, I don't even know what to say. We're recording October 2020, so catch, catch up uh, with you guys then. Bye!